just discussing the idea of a crackdown. Good, great. Really get tough. Ooh, I like internet porn. Drugs? Get tough on drugs? Yeah, it'd be the second time in two years. Though. Well, get tougher on drugs. It's a little bit general. PM loves drugs. Why? Oh, where do you start? I forget you're new sometimes. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything, you know, for a start. I mean, no one seems to check whether these things work. Plus, it sends the right message to your target market. Kids? Parents. Yeah. Right. It lets them know you're doing everything in your power to do their job for them. I've just spoken with our ambassador in Beijing. And? He's about to inform the Chinese that it was a misunderstanding. The PM's comments were taken slightly out of context. And the translation made it sound worse. Are they likely to believe that? No. But it's an important gesture. It sends a signal. That? That we're trying to find a way to back down. Well, well it, it, it buys us some time, Warren, so we can work out something more definitive. Well, what's more definitive? According to DFAT, uh, continued contact. Mm. So we begin a dialogue with their ambassador here, formally raise the issue of the PM raising the issue, and reassure them that we will not be raising it. We're not raising it? I know. Then why raise it? Because they need to hear it from us that we won't be raising it. But if they don't think we're going to raise it and we raise it, even if it's to tell them that we're going to raise it, aren't we worse off than if we've never raised it? Good point. Is it? Glad you raised that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just go one step at a time. How many Defence Force personnel are we short of? To maintain basic operational capability? Yeah. 6,000? Another 6,000. Another 6, Plus, 000. we have to hold on to the ones we already have. We lost a couple of pilots only last week. Mm. Crash. Jetstar. They're opening a new route to Hawaii. Very hard to compete. It is a major issue across all the services, uh, but I wouldn't say crisis. Wouldn't you? No, we've been ordered not to. But I think I speak for everybody here when I say that numbers are a serious worry. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And at a time when the Australian Defence Forces is facing one of its greatest threats. Are we talking terrorism? Uh, mining companies. Uh -huh. Of course. Oh Sorry. Gosh. See, the resources boom is siphoning off every second member. Must be difficult to compete, yeah? Well, why would a mechanic accept $45,000 to service a truck in Afghanistan when he can make a hundred grand working in Kalgoorlie? You're more likely to get shot in Kalgoorlie. I would sit at a table just like this up, up here and people would sit around me, just like you are, uh, different people or demographics, as we like to call them. A and my job is to find out what people like and what they don't like. Uh, so, for example, I might say, uh, what do you think of the Prime Minister? Well, he seemed nice when we met him. OK, yeah, good. And then I would say, uh, anything else? His jokes are a bit lame. <laughs> <laughs> good. And then I would segue into what people might not like about the Prime Minister. Uh, some negative impressions. Like his autocratic style? Uh, yeah, whatever. If that came out, yeah. And um, his heavy reliance on symbolic gestures? Yes, if that's what people thought, then yeah. yeah. Favouring short-term expediency over long-term policy? Yeah, they might say that. And then I'd take it back to the positives. Uh, is this a positive, Jack? No. There must be something we can spend on. Sky marshals, no, more helicopters, no, more guys abseiling. Tiny, I mean, that's tiny. What? That's old school thinking, honestly. When was the last time you saw a Black Hawk helicopter catch a terrorist? Two nights ago on 24. If we were to spend anything, yeah. it would be on language training and software skills. Well said, John. Not more abseiling? No. New crack anti-terrorism squad? Tony, we've got too many already. And to be honest, not enough terrorists to go around. We could let some in. What for? Training? You surely you're not serious? No. <laughs> Yeah, just a, <laughs> got under your... Yeah, yeah. Got well, slid it past you there. Good fun. Yeah, good, good fun. fun. Good. Write that down. Of course, no one knows what lies ahead. That's why we're planning ahead to ensure that you and your family are ready to face the challenges. It's all part of future-proofing the nation. This is what matters. Your hopes, your dreams. And that's why the federal government has come up with the... So step forward with confidence in Australia's destiny, because we care as you care. What do you think? That's great. It really is, isn't it? They've done a wonderful job. Oh, especially when they didn't know what they were talking I about. I know. I don't know how they do it. And this would be the report? Yep. Yeah. I like the thickness. Oh, that's a 200-page version. Is it? And is that 100 GSM? Oh, glossy. That's where the weight comes is from. Is that where the weight comes yeah. from? Have you shown it to the PM? Yeah, the mocker loves it. Absolutely. He commented on the weight as well. Yeah. And the ad. I mean, dear. You know. So, we've got the slogan, we've got the ad, we've got the report. 100 billion. 100 billion. We just need an idea.
clearly we have to respond to this latest series of attacks. Clearly. Absolutely. And make no mistake, gentlemen, the Prime Minister is determined to take action. He wants to ramp this thing up. Understood. Okay. The time for talk is over. Good. What's the alternative? A clear call for dialogue. All right, I'll be first. Uh, what's the difference? Hmm? The difference between talk and dialogue. Oh, OK, I'm with you. Warren? Well, talk is a unilateral declaration of a position, whereas dialogue is a two-way exchange of views leading, hopefully, to mutual understanding. All right, can't we just call the ambassador in and get Whoa. this? That sort of action could be seen as very inflammatory. What were you suggesting? If it's going to be dialogue, then the obvious forum is the AIHRD. Yep, that's the forum. Right up there, Ali. Me again. The... Australian-Indonesian Human Rights Dialogue. It's a bilateral forum between the two countries designed to handle exactly this sort of crisis. I mean, they don't get a lot of press, but when it comes to hammering out these sorts of issues, they are a very formidable organisation. Right. And what would they do? Have dialogue. Right. But then what? Sorry, Nick, I'm not sure I'm with you. Do they actually achieve anything, Phil? Well, at their last meeting there were six separate human rights discussion points agended, four went on to be tabled, three of which are the subject of ongoing bilateral exchange, one resulting in an official communique. And have you read that in the press? OK. He wants a building. Yeah, I gathered that. Did you? Because that structural rejuvenation thing kind of threw me. But and all of this came out of last night. Oh, it's been brewing for a while. I mean, every time you're forced to pay credit to a predecessor, a little bit of you dies. Yeah, but he's PM now. I guess the thing he's wondering is, if he left office tomorrow, what would be left behind? Nothing. We'd shred it all. No, mate, the PM's serious. What would be his legacy? Good, sensible government. Oh, come on, seriously. OK, National Schools Program. Oh, yeah, but it's a schools initiative. I mean, I mean even we're backing away from it now. Transport. What about it? National Integrated Transport Authority. Was that us? Yeah. Well, there's my point. I mean, where's the plaque? Where's the canapes? Where's the snapperazzi? In politics, half your time is spent dismantling the legacy of the previous bloke. <laughs> you know, you defund their programs, you kill them, you rename them, yeah. but you can't dismantle bricks and mortar. That's true. He wants to leave an architectural legacy for future generations. You know, something people can drive past and go, you know, thank you, PM, for you know, something the next bloke has to drive past and go, can't get rid of it. According to DFAT, the Chinese are not immune to our predicament. What do you mean? Well, they know we want to keep selling the coal and we know that they know that they want to keep buying it. You know, so. What if we were to say that we were selling them clean coal? Yeah, unfortunately there's a problem with that. What? There's no such thing. Aren't we working on it? Yeah, but not with a straight face. It's a long way off in the future, but boy, it's been a fantastic distracting phrase. All right, well, what if we come up with another one? Please. What about smart coal? Well, what does that mean? Well, what does clean coal mean? Good point. But you can't call it smart coal. All right. Green coal. Coal's black. Yeah, but there's green tea and tea's black. Good point. All right, just wait a minute, OK? What if we get China to keep buying our coal... Yeah. ..but burn less of it? Why would they do that? Yeah. All right, burn the same but do it quicker. Quick coal? You are very, very good at this. Should we just confine ourselves to childhood obesity? Good well, question. that's where they were most passionate. Overweight adults came across as, like, tragic. And a lot of them are senators. So are they? Yeah. Yeah, I'd better write that down. OK, so, childhood obesity. Yeah, I think so. I, I reckon that's Guys. the Guys. Oh, hello, Tony. Tony. Hey, Tony. Mel. Hi, Mel. Show them. Prime Minister declares war on obesity. Mm -hmm. Childhood obesity. Oh, did that come out of the focus groups? Yeah, yeah. So it's... childhood obesity is a big problem, is it? Yeah, look, it's a well, huge problem. Well, that's great. And the... Theo reckons we should piss off the fat oldies. <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't say it like no, that. No, no, I know that. Nick fair. said it like that, not me. Don't. Plus, that makes it simpler. I mean, if you're going to tell people off, it helps if they can't vote. OK, you know what? I don't think we're at the press release stage just yet. Oh, come on, Murph. We're always at the press release stage. But what are we announcing? Prime Minister declares war on ob obesity, yeah. childhood obesity. But that's yeah. just a line. What comes next? Well, that's your job. and well, that's what you get paid for, to come up with all the other pages. Everybody's really excited about the PM's plan. There is no plan. Yes, there is. We've announced it and people love it. Nothing has been decided. Aren't you still talking to Philip? Well, he means well. But I just don't think he understands seizing the momentum. He's got all those rules. You know, look, you know, that's got can-do written all over it. This is a major health initiative. You understand that, right? Oh, come on, give us something. It's long term. It'll be years before anyone knows if it's wrong. So the uh, the Nexa Chem guys were actually at the dinner last night. Yeah, yeah. They bought two tables. Big money. What does a what does a table at a fundraiser cost these days, Jeff? Ten grand. Twenty will get you on the minister's table. Oh, that's pretty good access. Fifty will get you on the PM's. What do you get for a hundred? You can sit on his fucking lap. Thanks, mate. Bye bye. How's it looking? What? The crackdown. Welfare cheats. You heard what Philip said. Oh, don't listen to him. He was about to target our donor list. Nick, how's the crackdown looking? 
We haven't decided what to crack down on yet. Oh yeah, well you'll pick something. Well, what's the form of it? I and mean, where are we heading? What, what are we going to do? Well, with it? presumably an advertising campaign. That's good. Probably a hotline. A hotline. You forget the obvious stuff, don't you? Yeah, you know, dob in a whoever we're dobbing in. Doll bludgers. Okay. Have you read Philip's report? Now, why would I do that? It may actually cost more to catch a doll bludger than we could ever hope to recoup. So? So it could cost us money. There is a principle involved. Rules are rules. Plus, it makes us look tough. Yeah, not if we're going after pensioners, veterans and... I'll give you the tip. We won't be doing that. Right, so? Well, we come up with another idea. I mean, there must be some other group that people crack down on. Tibetan monks? You realise things are sensitive between us and China at the moment? I do? Yeah, so we keep our very funny jokes between these four walls. Okay? Mm -hmm.